welcome back to Angie's Craft Corner. Today we are going to do something that I don't normally do on camera. is to do a, a scrapbook layout. I got married a few years ago. Most of you probably know by now. And I'm still working on my wedding album. I know. I'm slow. But anyways, I'm going to use a piece of white background and then... And I had a fall wedding, and no, we did not dress up. This was my second marriage and his fifth. So, but anyways, and no, we did not have no shotgun wedding. Although, Joey thought it would be funny for my dad to bring out the shotgun. Well, let us say he did. Because he thought it was funny too. And I just love the look on my dad's face like, don't. He cocked it and says, don't bring her back. <laughs> so, anyways, all in, all in fun. We had the wedding at my mom and dad, so it wasn't nothing fabulous. It was just a... Our friend, our fam, our immediately family was on with us, so it was good. And I'm just going to use my art glue to glue all this down, as usual. And, uh, I'm going to try to, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to off-center this a little. Like so, and just bring that up, just like so. And I've been playing in inks and everything else the last few days, trying to get ready to go scrapbooking here in a few weeks. Trying to get page kits done while not having to take everything in the craft room. But I'll probably wind up doing it anyways. And then I'm teaching my stepdaughter how to scrapbook. <clears throat> okay. For a lot of my embellishments for my wedding album, I've used the flowers and stuff that I had at the wedding that we used for the wedding. I've cut my lettering out on my Cricut and it says don't bring her back. And I've just recently discovered this font that I really like. And I'm going to just use my Xron create a stick or X 150 to make these into stickers and I'm going to grab a tool to help me pull these off because I have no nails and this is a tooth deal that my husband got that he was going to use he was going to sterilize it and use it well I took it over for crafting I think that how it's supposed to go. <laughs> and I have a cricket explorer. Well, this is my third cricket. <laughs> if it tells you anything. Look into that. So, I love my crickets. And I just have the um, excess. I've got a few cartridges, but I've got the access to.
And the reason why I don't do a lot of scrapbooking because I don't want our kids all out all, all over the country. Mostly these days. Um, I mean, I don't care about my face or my, and I don't want my. Fa I mean, I don't know how my family feels about a scrapbooking them. <laughs> but I've been working on uh, my nephew's uh, al scrapbook album for graduation. Yes, I know graduation's already been. He knows I'm like. He knows I'm always like. <laughs> I get these bright ideas at two weeks before whatever and then try to get it done. Don't always run as planned. <clears throat> so don't mean I don't try. Usually Christmas, I'm working right up until Chris, the night before, I'm killing myself, staying up half the night trying to get gifts done. So, and yes, my mat's filthy, but it'll be okay. I promise you. <coughs> so. Okay, I'm going to have to look at this, see how this D goes. Okay. My mind just went totally blank, y'all. And yes, I get quiet when I'm doing this because I'm so particular. Whoops. <clears throat> And yes, I know I'm sticking to some pictures. It's no big deal to me. Oh. 
黄色，然后有点像白色。<clears throat> okay. Don't bring her back. Okay. Now I'm going to put on um, some flowers here in the corner. And I probably need to tell the story, but I think I have in all the your. videos or um only your layouts like I said I've been working on this for probably about a year now And I got these little flowers that looks like butterflies. I got them actually by accident. I thought they was flowers. But they wasn't. And um, I, I just fell in love with them. So yes, they will be they on most of my layouts, I think. And I'm going to just cut the... Uh, It will lay flat. Semi flat. And I'm just going to take a little glue and just glue it. And I'm going to put some on it. This may not look as good as my hot glue. My hot glue ain't cooked up. <clears throat> then I'm just going to take the flowers and do the same, just kind of go around. Butterfly, uh, this may, like I said, this may not work, guys. I think I might need it probably again. Okay, I've, I've, I stopped it for a few minutes to let the hot glue again heat up. Um, a lot of times, I don't even think about using the hot glue again. And mine's about, I think it's new, but it's about wore out. So I'm just going to go around and just put the forms on. I may add more. And like I said, these is the ones that was at my, I mean, I used for my wedding. My mom done a lot of the decorations. She made my cake that was beautiful. I mean, I couldn't even buy a cake that beautiful. We just let my mom have control. She done whatever song she wanted, whatever. I didn't care. My, my oldest or my brother is the one that married us. Okay, I'm going to get some gems. 
with some rhinestones. And yes, I know this takes longer than normal, so y'all just bear with me. Now I'm just going to stick them all one in each flower petal. And there we have it. And there's one more layout then. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Subscribe to us if you are still with us. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget about our giveaway. May the 2nd. Um, details is on uh, my blog at angiecraftcorner.com. We'll see y'all next time. Have a blessed day and give us those thumbs up.